Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Ike Entertainment, and today I'm gonna be seeing I Got the Hookup 2 in theaters. But before I get into this vlog, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to click that notification bell so you never miss a video. So I'm going to 69th Street. I'm about to meet up with Colin. I'm just gonna catch this movie, and hopefully it's gonna be lit. So rumor has it, Romeo himself is gonna make a pop-up appearance at the theater. He's coming to my hometown. I gotta, I gotta welcome him. It's gonna be pretty lit. I've never seen him in person before, so it's gonna be pretty crazy. I don't know what to expect, but it's gonna be crazy. All right, so I just got to 69th Street. You know what I'm saying? Things don't look too crazy right now. I'm not gonna lie, I do see some Ubers though. I do see a couple Ubers out here, but he most likely come through in the Hummer. Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm here with Colin. What's up? So Colin came through, we're about to watch the movie. So what are your expectations for today? I've never seen the first one, so I don't know what the second one's gonna be like. Plus, I power chugged a bottle of essential water, so I'm probably <laughs> gonna have to piss halfway through it. What? But, um, I feel I you, Doc. <laughs> Dude, so this place has food too? Yeah, it does. So the cool thing, like I told you guys earlier, the cool thing with this movie theater is they can actually serve you food while you're watching the, like, the movie. So you just press this red button, you got these nice chairs. What? You think that they're massage chairs, but they're not. They're not. But they kick back, so that's nice. Know. That's cool. That's whatever. I know Cinemarks have those like super luxury seats, but I've never been to the studio movie girl before. Right. How to buy my tickets online. What the hell's this crap? <laughs> so we out here, we at the top. You ready for this, John? I am. I'm also hungry. <laughs> Let's go. We're about to find the theater. We gotta find the theater, y'all. This is like the legal advertising food at a movie. Yeah, they got the Spider-Man movie over here. That's it. I gotta catch that one. Far from home. Right, dude. The one dude is a wizard. And he kind of looks like me. And my dog. This is cool. Okay, here we are. Let's go in three, two. One. A few moments later. Yo, so we just got out the movie. There's like a large mass of people out here. I'm not really sure what's going on, but um, we about to see. That drone was crazy though. What you think, bro? I gotta take the bullet though, so I'm kind of not in there. <laughs> That's the only thing on my mind right now. Right? It's like, that shit was funny. Michael Blackson definitely killed me. This thing, Yeah, here you go. Hey, oh, yeah. no, man, how y'all like that movie though? That drum awesome. was crazy, man. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think he got that cannon, the new cannon. Oh, he got the yeah, For DSLR. Yo. Yeah, he got Six the new one. What y'all film? Yeah, we're YouTubers. <laughs> Alright, what's good, y'all? Ran into these amazing people. Crazy. Tell them your name. For the street poet. Miss Case. What'd you guys think of the movie? Do it. The movie was dope. It was Funny as was hell. Hilarious. <laughs> Who'd you feel had the best role, like the best acting role in this movie? I'm gonna say Train. Train did it. Train did it. It was definitely movie. Train oh, and, I have uh, to think about that one. DC Young Fly. I think everybody did a, um, pretty much a great, a great job. Do you guys have any social media that you want to promote? Any businesses? Yeah. Yeah, for the Street Poets. Instagram and for the Street Poet, you know, check me out. All right, you? I'm coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely follow them, y'all. Thank you. Yeah. So as y'all can see, everyone's taking pictures and everything outside here. They have a whole media team captivating the night. Honestly, I would say this was a success. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's been a minute since we've been to some movies, but it's honestly an awesome outtake. You know what I'm saying? This man's been holding it the whole movie. This man's been holding it the whole movie. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. What do you practice? I kind of like research a bunch of stuff. I researched a lot of Hermeticism and then I started branching out. Not necessarily Wicca, but um, Reiki. Um, everyone's kind of understood how crystals work, meditative practices, being able to like not. I'm a crystal master. Yeah. I mean, that, it's kind of why I have like a, a whetstone usually because it's more of like raw earthish. Yeah. Because I take I take aspects of like all different cultures, theologies, and 
I think it's good for everyone to have like a very multi-dynamic approach um, to like basically everything. The more people like learn, the more people kind of understand. Them. Right. It's easier to interact with people. The more you wake up. Well, the more you wake up. The more you just realize that everyone is just the same thing, just in a different like manifestation. You know what I mean? As like weird and esoteric as that sounds, but it's, it's oh, what it is. I'm so I'm so yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a master manifester. Mm -hmm. what they call me. And I'm also an artist too. So I'm yes. and I sell these pictures that and, and that, was, that was part of my awakening. What about my creative my creativity just oh, started waking. It just became awakened. So right. I, I realized that these foods, you know, food is energy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you have to eat high energy foods to stay on a high vibration. You have to elevate high and vibrate high. So if you're eating foods such as dead carcass, blood, starch, sugar, things like that, it's gonna weigh you down. It's gonna keep you to your lower self, you know, as opposed to waking yourselves up, as opposed to waking your brain up and your energy. You know, you have exactly. to eat high energy for alkaline foods. There's a lot of people, and a lot of people kind of like challenge any of that stuff because it's different not realizing the way it really does affect the body and everything based around how your body metabolizes it how when you look at the, the not the food pyramid but the like the food chain primary producers like plants like any of like any kind of vegan source of you know what's the word not provisions what we eat manifest into yeah. our life you know so the foods that we eat is going to be the outcome of what's happening in our life so if we're eating foods that you know come from a dead carcass that did that before it was dead it had fear it had feelings for another animal you know mm -hmm. uh, experience pain emotions you know that we're supposed to be in harmony with with these animals you know and we're we're like animals you know they right breathe like us they have sex like us they they're children you know they fall in love with each other they sense and, everything yeah and they sense the vibration they're conscious know? so if we're eating that, then it's going to manifest into our gut. It's going to manifest into our brain. Then manifest into our life. So that's it's very important, you know. And that's what I was explaining it to them before the camera came on um, yeah. about the importance of high alkaline Bernard. foods and electricity. Um, we're you know we need electricity, Ooh, so we need electric good. foods. You know, electric cell foods, and that's why I followed Excuse it. And Most it's been definitely, a long journey. The long awakening journey. Yeah. Like and and it makes you sense the more you, you go. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, like I said, these things manifest in us. So, be mindful of what you're eating. Be mindful uh, of what you're putting into your gut because the gut is your emotion. Your gut is your first brain. So, it's going to send transmitters to your brain. So, if you're eating dead carcass, dead flesh and blood, then you're not going to have good emotions. You're not going to have emotions is energy moving. Understand that energy moving is emotion. So if you're eating low energy foods, you're not going to have any good emotions from it. And that's just my outtake on it, you know. So I'm right. Michelle Renee, aka Dr. Feel Good. Um, you can see me at Black and Nobel, July 19th, with the launch of Dr. Sebi book. My teacher, my mentor, and I'm honored to be back in Philly. And it's just a great vibration being here with my family and my friends and. And just, you know, having the screen in the premiere of, you know, I got the hookup part two with Chris Kennedy, who was like my brother. So I'm, yeah. I'm just honored and I'm happy to be here and look forward to doing some work with you guys. And, you know, just getting this thing going in Philly. Most definitely. Yes. And where can people follow you at? Yes. Uh, Ms. Michelle Renee One. That's M-I-Z, Michelle with one L and a number one. So Ms. Michelle Renee One. I normally pop up at the, put in the Miz, the M-I-Z. Right. Like, boom, I'm right there. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, so thank you. Thank yeah, you definitely guys. everyone go support her. She's doing great things. The Philly area, definitely support her. Dr. Fugger. Yeah. They say once you have one conversation with me, you feel good. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you guys. Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm here with the one known. Yo, yeah, I'm Iosis Resurrect. Terrence. Cameraman T215. And you got Lady V over there on the side. Hey. That's what's up. I'm bringing into these amazing people. They were doing a lot of media work here at the I Got the Hookup 2 event. You know what I'm saying? Tell us more about what you guys are working on. We handled the red carpet today. 
Uh, this is the whole team from Elements Media Network. You can reach us at Elements Media, E-L-E-M-N-T-S, M-E-D-I-A, N-E-T-W-O-R-K-S dot com. Hit us up on Instagram at the same name. Elements with an S, media, singular, networks, plural. Most Elements definitely. Media Networks. But I wanna shout out th this whole thing here. I ran into this young brother earlier today, man, and he just caught my eyes. I dropped the camera and just, 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 just let him know how I felt, the vibe he was giving on. So with that being said, I wanna shout out to all his fans, all of y'all, everything that he's doing, and I'ma support him 100%. So, uh, you do got my numbers and stuff, right? No, not yet. Not yet. All right, well, I'll give it to you after this. And whatever you need, brother, just let me know. Most definitely. Definitely support these guys. They're doing something positive for the community. Definitely support them and follow them on their platforms, y'all. Yeah, no doubt. Instagram, Facebook. Make sure you download the app, too. You can watch all the movies and sitcoms and everything that we do. Exactly. Add me on the gram, cameraman, underscore T215, photography and videography. Hit up the team, hit up the squad. Yo, Make sure y'all add them. I, I want to step into this drum real quick. Um, yeah. You can <laughs> add me at I am Ace. Or, uh, ace, ace underscore pro underscore, underscore. but the eight, all, all the letters are ace is like a period. I know I'm weird, so it's eight. <laughs> dot C dot e. underscore, underscore pro underscore. underscore. I'm weird, but look, that's how you get me. Hit me up on Instagram. I'm iosis215 on everything. Just hit it up. iosos. I'm on some other shit. A lot of people trying to take that whole vibe. In fact, uh, um, Master P, I've seen his interview, he got something called OSOS, which is on some other shit. I'm the original. Not oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> not this is Master P, but real shit. Um, Y'all see that, John? Y'all see that, John? You never see that, John. Like, that is so out of the ordinary. Snow Yo, <laughs> got rockets. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly, y'all. This, this one's wild. All right, so that was yeah. some crazy shit that we did. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yo. Only at this time of night. <laughs> so, uh, again. You make sure y'all follow him and make sure everything is straight, clean, and we ain't sit, we ain't hit back at you. Look, our whole team out here is y'all having the ball. Most definitely, y'all follow them, support their content. Yo, what's good, y'all? So we just got out of the movie theater. We met up with, as you saw, we got to meet up with a lot of amazing people today. It was an honestly amazing day. I'm happy I got out the house for this, and I'm happy I was able to link with Colin. So if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let us know in the comment section if you want to see more vlogs on this channel. Make sure to follow us on social media. Links are down below in this video, and I'll also leave them inside the description as well. Pay for my Grubhub orders. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't use Grubhub. And lastly, make sure to turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. You see that bell? Give it a ding a ling a ling! Hey. These fucking these drivers, man. Sorry, you guys are getting uh, a taste of Colin's road rage. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace! <laughs>